this is going to be the game of the year. We're talking graphics like Raid Shadow Legends, Marvel Strike Force, Age of Magic, any of those games that you looked at and you were just like, wow, this looks great. Also, it's sci-fi and fantasy merged together. It's crazy the way this game looks. It's got variable stat gear in it, although it's not really that type of a farming game. It's more of an idle game, but when you level up that gear, you can hit different substats, and those different substats can be hit again to level up. So it's really a different twist on normal idle games because idle games all have standardized gear. I'm really loving this game. It's in soft launch right now. You can download it and play it on Android. Starting off with the heroes we can collect. These are the monster type race. Then we have Atlas, the alien type race, and Terrans, which are the humans. And look how crisp everything is. Even the combat and all the UI, everything is just so damn crisp in this game. It looks amazing. I'm telling you, this is gonna be one of the top games of this year easily based off the looks and the type of game that it is. That it's not gonna take all day for us to play 24 seven, but we're still gonna be able to farm gear and do variable stat gear. And they've got all these different skills down here that we unlock. They've got their exclusive skills, which I haven't even begun to unlock these. They've got talent trees, which I've done quite a few on some of my heroes so far. And then I guess some feature coming soon. Remember, this is in soft launch. It's not even ready for global yet. They're doing a soft launch so they can get the game prepared for the masses and to add everything in that they want to add to the game. Let's go over to the Terrans and check out a few of these. I mean, look at these. Look at this class. We're talking sci-fi here based with some fantasy over here because we have something more like a dragon, you would say. And we've got this big guy I just showed you a minute ago, kind of like a minotaur bull, some guy. And then we come over here to the Terrans and we see these alien races with this guy that I use. It looks like a robotic bug and he does all these mortar strikes. I've got him leveled up pretty high. This guy does insane AOE damage with some burn effects on the ground. We can look at her. She's more of a, I don't have her. She looks just damn amazing, right? All these effects just look great. Let's go over here to the alien class really quick before we go into some combat and go around the game and show you some more things that we have to offer. This guy's coming through some void. I mean, I haven't had any luck yet in pulling any of these SSS tier. It's a 5% chance to get an epic. It could be one of these once I get an epic, but I just have not had luck to get any of these crazy ones yet. And of course, there's no real events going on because it's a soft launch. They're not trying to throw out events. They're not trying to throw everything in your face yet. They're saving all of that for global. Okay, so this is my lineup currently. I've got this guy as my back defender AOE. I've got another ranged attack there. This is one of my Terran human tanks. She does an AOE stun. This guy is actually one of the alien class and he does damage based off of defense, but he is an attack based hero. And he does decrease defense on some of the enemies as well. And then here, you really can't tell all the skills they can do until you fill out their tree. So, so far, I've done some of their skill tree and this augments some of their abilities. So we've got skill trees, we've got gear, the equipment here. Let me show you the equipment. This is what got me so excited about it. Like finding an idle type based game with variable stack gear is impossible. I've never found one yet. Magnum Quest had one rune that had variable stack gear, but then all of this rest of this gear was the same. Here I've seen basic attack, flat attack. I've seen attack percentage. I've seen critical damage percentage. I've seen defense and HP, I think on different ones here. The boots, I've seen HP, defense and attack now. I've seen different stats. And then here you can see I've got accuracy along with defense and that hit into defense again for a plus one to that for 4.4% defense. So you can see where I'm going with this, man. I love farming gear and I love the look of this type of game. I mean, I'm into this. I'm gonna be playing this hard. We're gonna have lots of videos on my channel about this along with anything else new that I'm playing. Okay, this is your main hub. From here, you've got guild. I haven't unlocked everything so far. You've got your outpost where you send your guys out on missions. I've already done all mine for the day. You've got your command center. Oh, that's right. When you're fighting, you've got different commanders, different commanders that you can choose and they do different abilities based off of whatever your heroes do. This one, if I do AOE ability and hit three or more people, she'll send out this drone that will attack everyone. And it used to be just that, but now it's gonna increase the damage by 30% if I send out multiple drones. And she has an affinity for 
this guy, which I'm using, to up his ultimate ability. We're gonna do a battle. Let's see if I win. They're pretty strong for where I'm at right now. I do need to level up a little bit, but I've been playing nonstop all day today and half a day yesterday. So I'm not as far as I'd like to be, but in this game also, when you're going through these stages, you can tell it to automatically go to the next stage and the next stage and the next stage. It'll do a five second cooldown and it will keep going on until you get defeated. So if you do get stronger and you wanna clear through some campaign, like you do in all games, you can tell it to automatically go to the next stage of campaign. I love that. I've only played one other idle game that's let me do that. So it's a really nice feature to have and we're gonna win this. Yeah, we got this, easy. I mean, look at the graphics. Don't tell me that these graphics look bad or they're not in the realm of all the other top mobile games out there because this looks, to me, fantasy with sci-fi merged. I can't wait to see. There it is. Tap right here, will auto, and it will keep going every stage until you die. I am, I don't know, just these two together like this. As me, so excited. Okay, as you go through the game, you're gonna unlock other things like the Wasteland, which I already went through today. This actually took a little bit of time to go through all the battles and collect all the rewards. You've got this Rift Fissure, which opens up all these different stories almost. Not really stories, it's like an open map. You go through there, you do battles. You do like you do in most games where you pick a relic to give you increased defense, increased attack, a lot of other abilities special abilities to your team as you go through there and fight harder and harder enemies and pick up rewards. So those are a one-time clear. Arena, which I've done today, great rewards in Arena. I'm ranked 537 now. And we've got the mines, which you just keep going. This is like a tower base. You keep going as far as you can as you get stronger. I don't know how many floors. It looks like somebody here is at floor 133 already. And you can put this on auto as well. So if you get stronger and you want to keep going through some floors, you just tap it to keep going. And it will just keep going for you down and down and down. So this guy functions with his shield. He's going to have a shield. I'm going to bring in this group. But with this shield, I have to hit him so many times. Otherwise, when the shield goes off, he's going to kill everybody. So I've got these two skills not on auto because they do multiple hits. I want to make sure we get this shield down. If I have him on full auto, they won't be ready when he does the shield and we will die. Because if this shield is not taken down, you get obliterated. It's just done. So I'm going to make sure I activate these two skills here. There we go. Those are multi-hits right there that this drone in the back, the drone that looks like a bug, brings out. And then boom, you can see it's getting ready to explode. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Barely. He was about to hit the ground and then we would all die immediately. But we were able to knock him over. We got the shield down. I'm saving these skills up again. We're on one time speed because I want to make sure that I get this done. And this is one of the boss battles that you do. There's multiple boss battles. I think I've shown you guys quite a bit about the game. Again, we've got talent trees, we've got variable stack gear, we've got guild, we've got guild bosses, which I didn't fight the guild boss today because I'm waiting to get stronger. I think there's about 11 hours left until reset. So I'm gonna go attack that pretty soon because I'm gonna go to bed here in a few hours. It's got everything that I'm looking for, is all I can say. Oh, here we go, here we go, shields are up again. I hope I get this in time. Come on, do the move, do the move. Let's go, multiple hits there. He's at 17, you can see the little shield with a number above his head and you can see where he's about to, I don't think we're gonna make this. Come on team, let's go. No, we didn't. He's got three shields left and we died. So, all right, I've already beat him once on that stage. That was stage three, so I need more multi-hitters and I've gotta do timing better. She's different. This girl that I fight, she brings out some additional like I got to kill multiple things before they get to her. So I need to make sure I have my abilities ready to go. It's good to have some more AOE or abilities that bounce between enemies. We'll do that one another time and we'll go into a reroll guide. We'll go into summons with this. I currently probably don't have any summons because I've been summoning because you need heroes. I do have a few left. Let's see what we get here. Hey, there we go. Hey, I don't have her. Nice. She looks cool. Now she's an elite, she's the, she's the top, she's the cream of the crop, so I'll need multiple copies of her, of course, but you get, whenever you do summons, you get these currencies that then you can pick 
what you want to get. And this guy's kind of the banner summons right now. He's a brand new hero just released into the game. So once we have enough to get him, we'll pick him up. Same thing for all your summons in this game. I actually do have enough for a 10 on the basic summons. Let's do this. I'm just going to skip right through it. See if we got any elites. We did get one elite here. I don't have him yet. No idea what that guy does. I'm assuming a tank class that might even freeze people. But anytime we do summons, be it on the limited, basic, or advanced, we always get fragments to come in here and pick. Now, I need another piece of this shield lady right here to level her up. So I'll wind up picking her up when I do one more summons. And then we've got advanced summons, which I've gotten fragments of 28 so far. I'll come in here and maybe pick up more of this lady because she looked pretty sweet. Let's go look at her abilities really quick and we'll be out of here. I appreciate you all for watching. If you want to play the game, go download it with Pure APK to play on an emulator. I'll go find it. I'll go see if I can find some links and I'll leave them down below and you guys can come join me. I'm on SEA because this is where I live. It wouldn't give me any, any other options for different servers. Where's this girl I just got? There she is. Yeah. All right. I like it. She looks like the girl who who flies up in the air and shoots out all the missiles in Apex Legends. Fires, and then don't forget, we've got to look at these abilities and how they augment her skills, because these are going to make a big play in what we're going to play it in game, like what we think is the best of the best in meta and all of that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate your time. I'm telling you, this game is big. It's going to be huge. It looks so clean, and I love all the heroes in this game. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.